Beautiful together to me seems like a very apt description for what the shul is. It brings together lots of different people, um, lots of different types and ages and stages. Beautiful together in the context of Chavra is the mosaic that is our community. Okay. That is a little scary. <laughs> yes, I spelled my name right. <laughs> Victory. Brian Lucas, Fox Trot Romeo, Echo, Uniform November, Delta, Lima, India, Charlie Hotel. So I do like a Donald Trump like move into the camera at one moment. Powerful point. <laughs> I remember the first time I came into Shul, my first thought was, oh my god, there's so many people here who I love. And then my second thought was, who are all these other people? <laughs> so the first time I remember going to Chavar Avis Israel was with my dear friend Basi. We went to Rook Bashkin's house. We went downstairs and the place was packed. I think every single chair was probably full. I first came to Chavar, right when I moved into my apartment. I was unpacking boxes. It was literally Friday morning. I had, a mute, somebody had introduced me to a woman who was supposed to find a place for me to dive in. <clears throat> and I called and I said, where, where, where should I go? She's like, well, you can always go to 770. I'm like, I don't think that's quite for me. And we found a little cozy spot and we just sat there and we just listened to the davening. It was so beautiful. I like, um, Singing, I like quiet, I, and I like the dedication and conviction that the, the people have in Davin. I also found it um, a great Davin experience because um, the sense of purpose that people had um, while there, and there was you know, a sense of decorum about davening that's not really forced, but more just organic. I had a few people tell me, guests who come, they say, you know, it's like the Baal Shem Tov Shul. It was really the, the only the first time I had a really good davening in a long, long time. I've been looking for a shul I got obviously for the last 40 years. So this was the first time we actually felt like we had a place to go as a family. And so I went there for Shabbat morning and I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. And I haven't left it since. And it worked and I found it and never gone anyplace else. One of my favorite memories of was the first Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I always looked forward to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur because um, because I like the show part of things, but that year was amazing. Like ever since that first year, I've actually been waiting for Tishrei to come around. I remember going to the Lagba Omer event. Um, I think it was the first time I actually brought my kids to Chavar with Israel. And the first half of the night is for children, and then the second half is for adults. And I remember walking in there and. Sima gave me like the warmest hug. She made me feel like I was home. And I just knew that I wanted to be a part of this, whatever that was, I wanted to be a part of it. I'm still thinking. I had a heart operation this summer and the show arranged for me to get a, a week of meals brought by the people in the show. And I was really impressed that they put Avis Israel into action. My favorite K memory was Tubishvat the first year that I was uh, going to Shul. Uh, I had come in, we were at Raboshkin's basement. I come into the basement and there was a drum circle. So I thought, okay, this is like a great place to dance. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'll do a flip. And literally, <laughs> I'm like mid-air and my shaito flew like across the room. Seema came over to me. She like so gently and kindly put her hand on my shoulder and said to me, Esther, you made my night. <laughs> Hebra is, is my shul um, because I feel welcome in it, but more importantly, I feel like it's a place where I can contribute, do contribute, and feel welcome to contribute. I really love the Purim party. And there was this moment where the kind of like my core group of friends were all in this one big circle, and there was kind of this fog over us, and I really felt like the fog was Simcha. I remember. My brothers-in-law visited one Shabbat, and they said to me, Elder, oh, this is the best part of our trip. They said, uh, it's amazing. Everybody in that place is singing at the top of their voice, and somehow no one is off-key. There's so much authenticity within the show. People can come there and express themselves. 
and their just love for who they are, no matter at what point of life they're in, what stage they're in. I, I think Av Yisrael is unique because of the people who go there. They're very serious about their Yiddishkeit and, their, and about their davening. Chavis for me because I can daven there and because it's a place where I can open up my heart and open up my soul and really just like let loose with God. There's a pool of people who are so willing and so ready and so wanting to just like have to create partnership. When I walked into Hevra, I thought this shul was created for me and was just waiting for me to show up. Shul made Yiddishkeit a much more holistic part of my life and I am forever grateful for that. At the Hanukkah, dinner. Um, that was the first event that my wife went to. And I remember Bloomy commented to me what a sense of pride she felt. That was the moment when I said, you know, this is my show. Chavra is for me because it is a place of collaboration. Um, it's a place, an opportunity to meet like-minded people. I like because I catch the frog. You know, we do get a lot of slack for pushing the envelope. There's a lot of courage involved in being um, an outsider. Well, I believe any place that allows people to be true to themselves, who they are, um, meaning you don't have to necessarily negotiate with your morals, but you can still love other people and accept everybody who they are and find a common ground where you can all sing together or love together or appreciate Torah together. I think my favorite cover memory would have to just be Simchas Torah every single year. The shul does a lot to get the kids engaged and really feel like they're a part of things. Um, whether it was the, you know, the Lago Over program where you know, they're toasting marshmallows <laughs> or you know, the raffles or the Purim party. Okay, he's I'm good friends with like basically the whole ladies section. <laughs> they really feel like they're an important part of the shul. I'm proud of moments where people in the shul can talk about things that other people are scared to. Beautiful together to me means what's being made in the room is special. I remember this one line from Basi Lagani where like, the Fridigrev is talking about <laughs> the definition, this word for beauty, and that Really, it doesn't translate directly as beauty, it actually means diversity of color. And so, it's not about uniformity, it's the opposite. It's all these different colors somehow mixing together. Beautiful together, to me, seems like a very apt description for what the show is. It brings together lots of different people, um, lots of different types and ages and stages. That melting pot is sort of embodies being beautiful together. Beautiful Together in the context of Chavra is the mosaic that is our community. Then when you turn it around, it's this beautiful tapestry. And I think about Kay, Kay is so beautiful because of that togetherness of each individual being so unique. No matter who you are, you're welcome at Chavra and you're celebrated. And I think that's the beauty of us being together. You need all those parts in order to create the final masterpiece. So all those parts together bring beauty to the community and to the world. But beautiful together is uh, Trump supporters and Clinton supporters getting along. The shop is after the election, which was a really hard time for a lot of people. Everyone had all these, these you know, very intense emotions. People could have gotten really angry, and instead I think that Shabbos had ended off somehow that everyone was just singing together. That was a really uh, great moment for me. Well, we're beautiful together. <laughs> beautiful together. K in one word to me is warm. So the first word that came to mind, oddly, was heterogeneity. Um, this is real. But I also think of it as being, you know, a place of song. Light. Chavra Abbas Israel, to me, in one word, is love. I don't know if there's any other place that I would have felt more comfortable with my shadow flying off my head. From the very first time that I've walked into Shul, and every single time since then, Shul has been something that I've been so proud to be a part of. K in one word is home.